entrepreneur, having a strong network can help support your startup journey. And we've got a few small business owners in with us today. They've got a powerful network. They're all alumni of the University of Hawaii and part of a special event this Wednesday. And joining me on the couch is Erin Manaya. She's the owner of pet product company Ports and Paws. And Nick Sinclair is the owner of Bitterroot Brewery. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi. And who is this? This is Porter. Hi, Porter. <laughs> so tell us about the, um, the uh, company. I know he's so super excited to be on TV. Yeah, so Ports and Paws is, uh, we make pet accessories and for humans too. And we recently got licensed with UH, so we have all our UH gear ready. Okay, and that's event. this yep. over here. And um, how did UH really play a role in helping you start your company? So I graduated from UH, and I'm super grateful. Um, it set like the foundation for my career and starting the business. I really like this alumni, like connecting with everyone. So it's really helpful for the business. It's like a family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what about you? Tell us about your company. Yeah, so um, we're Bitteroo Brewery. Um, I'm just one of several co-founders. Um, and what we're, we're doing is a, uh, we're kind of like trying to rethink the brewery model. So in brewing in Hawaii, uh, it requires grain and hops and those have to be imported. So we're thinking, okay, well, how can we make uh, beverages that are you know, just Hawaiian based? Mm -hmm. So we started with a ginger beer. This is our Zero G, which is a non-alcoholic ginger beer. Um, and yeah, and that's kind of where, <laughs> where we're starting. Well, how, how important was UH to your success? So uh, UH, I'm actually still, or I'm a graduate of UH, and then um, I'm still a grad student, and then uh, we have several other grad students in this company as well. Um, and we were we all met during a fermentation biochemistry class at UH. Oh, so there you go, and it became a thing. And it became a thing. All right, well, we have to head over to the kitchen because Billy has another UH alumni business owner to tell us about. Over to you, Billy. Thank you very much, Annalisa. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're talking with uh, Chris Iwamura, who is CEO of Rainbow's Drive-In. So how are you tied into all this? Um, I. I got my MBA at UH actually. Nice. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. Got awesome. <laughs> okay, so you're also making food for this event too, right? Yes. We oh, are. Okay, so what are you making real quick? So we're we're making uh, basically our chili rice bowls. Okay. Yep. Got and one then of them here. And we're gonna just top them with some onions, cheese, and green onion. I love onions yep. on on chili. A little it's bit one of cheese. One of the favorites from a lot of people is uh, putting cheese and onions on top. So we'll be doing uh yeah we'll be just doing these bowls and. Um, if anybody wants more information, they can go to uhalumni.org. Why, why is events like this important? It's important to just highlight the, the alumni, you know, and we take pride in our state, we take pride in our schools here, and so it's important to highlight, you know, all the hard work that's being done in Hawaii. And what you learned at UH is key to what you're doing now. Very key, yeah. Okay. The MBA really helped. Okay, yep. sounds good. Uh, so uh, once again, we'll give you the details. You want to give the details, or you want me to? Okay. Um, uh, August 9th, 6 to 9 p.m., that's going to be on Wednesday, and that's going to be down at the Royal Hawaiian in Waikiki. So if you want more information on this, once again? UHalumni.org. Okay. So how is the restaurant? You guys been busy? Has it been crazy? We've been, I mean, summertime is always crazy for us. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's summertime is good. Summer. Yeah. All right. So head on. Want some good food? Rainbow's <laughs> driving. Better yet, go to the event. We got more.